Welcome back everybody to Express. My name is Steven. I'm going to be showing you how to get started with Fiverr for beginners. So in this tutorial, if you are a beginner, if you are an intimate, if you want to do reinforcement, all your tools here into Fiverr, doesn't matter. This tutorial is going to be helping you step by step how we can get started. So what we're going to be covering today here into this video. First of all, we're going to be talking about understanding the actual Fiverr account, the actual application. We're going to be talking about the creating your seller profile, creating your very first gig. We're going to be talking about the optimizing your gigs for maximum exposure, the levering quality work and managing orders. We're going to be talking about scaling your Fiverr business, tips and tricks for success here into Fiverr. And lastly, just a few advanced techniques that can be helping you a scale a little bit up your earning income here into Fiverr. So let's get started. So Fiverr, this is a freelancer marketplace that connects buyers with sellers in a digital space. So this one has a wide range of categories from graphic designs in digital marketing to writing and video editing as well. It is known for its geek based system, which services are packaged with clear expectations and deliverables. So how does the actual Fiverr works? There is a sign-up process to both freelancers and buyers. This is totally free to join. When a freelancer creates something called DickGeek, which is a server offering at says prices point starting at, let's say for example, $5, the buyers can browse these gigs and use Fiverr's search functionality to find specific services, read reviews, and see seller rating before making a purchase. It is important for sellers to select a specific niche that not only aligns with the freelancer's skills, but also has a demand on the platform. Now, there's something called the Fiverr's level system. This level system includes the new sellers, level 1, level 2, and top rated seller. Now that we have understood Fiverr, let's move on into creating your seller profile. All right, everybody, so I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so we can all get started and still be into the actual same page. If you click down below into the actual description, you're going to be seeing something like this. In this case, what I love to do is to connect my actual Google account since it's going to be much more faster to, let's say, be into the mailing list um, with the basic information like the name and all of that. So it's going to be asking us now what uh, we can get started with a profile username. So in this case, let's say, for example, that I wanted to add the word, let's say, Y star STD. And this one actually comes and it is available for all of us. So let's say that we are actually good to go. If you wanted to focus with something like this, be my guest here to create your account. And I was going to be asking you what brings you to Fiverr. Let's say that we are buying of course, we wanted to focus into selling freelancer services. If you wanted to contract hire someone else, you don't have to panic because we can have one account for a seller and a buying type. We can sell, we can change and switch between these accounts later on. I'm going to be showing you how to do this later. So let's go and focus now into a seller account. Now, what type of freelancers are you? A side hustle, a solo freelancer, an agency employee or an agency owner? That's totally optional. In this case, let's go for a solo freelancer and hit now into next. Now, what's your freelancer experience? I'm just getting started. Freelancing online, freelancing offline, both online and offline. I do the freelancing online, but just in case that you are quite new into selling stuff as a freelancer here into Fiverr, you wanted to choose the I am just getting started. You don't have to worry about any of that because this great application can be helping you and walk through how you can get started uh, today, day by day. So now get you almost ready, complete your seller profile, create your very first gig and publish it and start selling. Let's go for complete your seller profile. Really, really easy. Now, my account has not been successfully created. You can see that we have a growing freelancer community. This guy is a designer. Uh, this guy is a writer. As you scroll a little bit down, you can see that we have more and more information about your actual new Fiverr account. Let's go here and to get started so we can start to publish our brewery first gig. Let's go into continue, continue once again. 
continue once again and here is my personal information so whether you have an actual freelancer company uh it's totally great let's say this one is called taxpress it's awesome but it's going to be asking you to add a full legal name in order to continue you don't have to worry about this because this is totally private so you wanted to input the actual information that comes here into your personal uh id upload your profile picture and briefly make a description of yourself now, this is the part where I do love to work with some artificial intelligence. This artificial intelligence, in this case, is going to be ChatGPT+. If you don't know how to use ChatGPT, you don't have to worry about that. Because what you just need to do, this is like an artificial intelligence chat. So let's say, for example, that I need this help to create a description about myself. So let's say, for example, create a description uh, for my Fever or Fiber account. And then I'm going to go for I do social media post, edit content, like post stories, feeds, create ads and help develop a brand in the social network. And now the artifacts on the channel is going to be gathering all the information that you used for them and it's going to be getting you a great winner description so you don't have to blow your head to create all of this. So here as you can see we have the short description here. It's really great and awesome. Why partner with me? Service offered. So what you just need to do is to copy all of this information and you can paste it into your personal information of your actual of your description here into fiber let's go here into the language let's say that we speak english the language level let's go for fluent and continue now your occupation let's say for example digital marketing this is going to be filled up automatically if you add an actual grade to the description so really really important to add out of this so let's say for example we are from the 2019 um so far here you have all of this affiliate marketing crowdfunding email marketing local ceo social media advertising media marketing and all of this as you can see we can only add up to five elements here so you could focus now into video marketing music promotion or i believe that would be actually it lastly it's going to be asking you for your skills let the skills related to the services you're offering and add your experience level let's say for example that we are actually moving into some marketing uh let's go for shopify marketing for example let's go actually delete this let's go for social market social market experience level let's go for expert and hit now into add and here we have pending now i can add an actual new one let's say that i am good for marketing experience level export and hit now into add then we can add your actual education what is the actual currency of the country college you worked on you studied and if you have any certification you can add it in here it's going to be really great if you have one of those and a personal website if you want to include a link to your personal portfolio with your work and all of that now i'm going to keep now to continue we have an email verified and a phone number yet to be verified so i'm going to keep now to add a phone number you enter your phone number you hit the code so you can import that and then your account should be now verified and hit now into finished once the verification has been now successfully completed, it's going to be asking you to add a security question for security reasons. For example, let's go for a selected question. Uh, what was the name of your very first pet? You want to import something not that hard, but something that you only knew. What is the actual answer? Now let's go here into verification completed and hit now into finished. Now my seller profile has now been successfully all set on. Let's go here into done. And now let's move on into creating our very first gig. Now it's going to be sending you automatically here into the overview of your gig title. So here, as you can see, we have the I will do something I am really good at. We have the category, the search tag, and the save and continue. There are a few specifications that we need to fill up. For example, the pricing, the description, and the FIQ section, the requirements, of course, the gallery of your actual gift, and lastly, the publishing up. Once you finish to set all of this information, it's going to be uh, taking just a few minutes, even hours, to approve your actual gift into Fiverr. So now you can be ready to move on into the actual next step. So, how I can get started to add my very first gift? 
What I'd love to do is to open a new tab and go to here once again into the fiber. And once I am inside here, what I want to do is to look out for an actual gig that looks a little bit of something that I want to get started with. Let's say, for example, CEO of the social media. So I'm going to type CEO social. Uh, CEO owns social media marketing, CEO social media points design, social media content creator. So let's go and type this one. And now this is going to be really, really important for our actual future post. For example, speaking about social media content creator, we have 224,219 services available. This is not so bad, but check it out what happens if I delete this and let's say that I type uh, only logo design into logo design, I have 203 and 10 only 1010 services available. So this means that this is the actual competition, amount of competition that we're actually dealing with so far. So what you want to do is to try to aim to look out for something not that broad but a little bit more specific than that for example if you are looking in this case you wanted to help people to move on into the ceo of social medias maybe you can try to not say all the social medias but only instagram so if i delete all of this let's go for a ceo uh, i'm gonna type instagram and uh, now as you can see i have social media manager instagram instead of going with 200 and i don't know how many thousand services available now we do have 69,000 services available so this one still is a really huge amount of competitors but it's now a little bit less and we can have a stronger chances to get hired by someone here into fiverr so really important now that you have find uh, something that you're willing to work on, you wanted to check out how the other peoples are publishing their actual stuff. For example, I will be your Instagram marketing, social media manager, TikTok, whatever. Uh, I will do this, I will do that, I will do those. So uh, check out what is the amount of uh, money they're actually willing to work with. Check out the thumbnail uh, image here. Check out the level grade and check out how many people actually work with this one. You can see that one directly where you can see the actual rate stars and right above we can see, and just right we can see the amount of people who have been hired this guy so far. As you can see, I believe it so far, the one that is actually having really, really great engagement with people is this guy because this guy has more than 439 services that he has done so far. So I'm going to click here and you can see that this guy actually has a actual great services here are the actual impressions profile business engagement post interaction um, this is like an example of what he has done so far this is what you wanted to do you would you don't want to copy and paste you just wanted to check out what other people the computers are actually doing so you can try to do something a little bit much more uh let's say a like but you wanted to offer something different that others don't more stronger than that if i copy this actual text i wanted to go here into the chat tpd i'm gonna paste this title um came up with ideas that look more stronger for example i kind of like this one i will skyrocket on instagram targeting management for organic reach and influence i copy this one and i paste it here into the gig title select your category search your actual text and hit now to save and continue for example, in this case, you wanted to go for Instagram, social media growth, organic stuff, uh, CEO or Instagram. So really important to do your research once you make this information. Now, this is the part where you wanted to offer your packages if you want to offer different packages. I'm going to hit into offer packages. And as you can see, we have the basic, the standard and the premium plan. You can change this and be creative here. Let's say, for example, the basic plan, let's go for starter. I can go from instead of standard, let's go and look how for influencer and premium. We can change this for agency, 
upgrade. I don't know, something like that. Describe details of what you're actually offering here into the basic, the standard, and the premium plan, the delivery time, the revisions, the page setup, optimizations, all of this should be set up depending on what is the actual category that you choose. The price should be, of course, in between prices $5 and $10,000. So it has to be multiple of $5 as well. You can add extra services and you can add additional stuff if you're willing to. Hit now into saved and continue. Here you have to bring your A game. Make a briefly describe of your gift. This is the chance to be creative and explain what is your actual gift. So why the people why to want to hire you instead of these other guys. So we have now change it from 200,000 ca competitors to 16,000 competitors. That's great, that's less. But now what you wanted to do is to be featured among all of those competitors. So this is the part where you wanted to be descriptive here into your description. And you can use ChatGPT to help you to make a really strong and helpful uh, description of your actual gig. Now, into the requirements, it's really important that you don't want to hire, you don't want to get hired by any people in the world because that might be like a 15 year old kid that just wanted to have a really great engagement of in a specific post of a silly butterfly on this Sunday afternoon. So that's not important to you and you're not gonna be taking that serious. So you wanted to add any specific requirements in order to, let's say, get started with something really, really important. For example, is this one in order for personal use or a side project? Which industry do you wanna work with? And is the order part of a budget project working on? All of that, you can add your own questions if you're willing to get started with. For example, adding an actual question, are you willing to work at a short term or long term, for example, free text, whatever. Hit now into add, save, continue. Try to be as detailed as possible. Now, last is going to be asking you to add an actual gig image. Here, we have a 45 uh, second video of how you can choose the best gig image. So, so you can read all of this, get into the XMAR after that and drag and drop videos and images of examples of your own service. What I'd love to do here in this part is to use a graphic designer, for example, Canva. Now Canva is gonna be helping you to, uh, let's say use templates so you can get started to create an actual design and do this in a much more faster way. So for example, let's say that I wanted to go here into Fiverr, Fiverr gig images, and I do have a few templates that I can use for this kind of purpose, for example. So you can see here, I have the digital marketing expert, I have this one, I have this one as well. Choose the one that works first for you, edit it, and hit now to continue. For example, let's say this one, customize the template, and if you're willing to work with, let's say your own image, you can change that, uh, the text, you can change the type, you can change all of this. For example, let's say that I wanted to go for a CEO, and I make this a little bit more smaller, and I move this in here, Instagram CEO beginners, for example, and maybe I can try to change this specific gig to look out for something more detailed than that. So I'm going to go back here in the search results, let's say social media, Instagram. And I, if I type beginners, nobody uses the beginner type. So I can be featured for a specific amount of people here. For example, only for beginners, really, really important for the, now check out the actual colors that appears in here. I can see there's a lot of yellow, there's a lot of black, there's a lot of white. So I can try to use in a specific color to kind of actually attract more uh, people to get in starting here. For example, in this case, since we're gonna be working with the Instagram, I can choose to edit this color and choose the Instagram gradient, which in this case is something like this. So I delete this title. I change this like this. And there we go. Something truly easy. Lastly, maybe what I can do is to add the Instagram logo somewhere in here. So I'm going to try to go into the graphics of the Canva. So as you can see, I have this actual logo so I can move this and put it, let's say somewhere around here, or I don't know, maybe kind of like in here, there we go. 
or just put it in here and change the position to the back and change the transparency to something like this. I don't know, you can be creative. I'm gonna keep now to show download PGM file, download this, and I can use this image to promote my very first gig. So let's get into save, drag and draw my photo. There we go, I open it. And this is what we have so far. Last thing I'm gonna hit now to save I continue. And the changes has now been saved. Now, lastly, in order to continue, we just needed to complete the following requirements to start selling. The English scale test, so you can test uh, the actual test. You are not an US uh, citizen person, you're actually good to go. Hit now into confirmed and we actually needed to take the test of the English scale languages. This is not going to be taking so much. So just go here into the test syllabus, uh, the duration, 40 minutes, questions, instructions. This is something like uh, there's a lot of people who actually don't do, but it's going to be really, really important to do this in order to publish your stuff. Remember to, in order to optimize your actual gig, you wanted to add as much information as you want to the description and the title and the tags. The three of them should actually include the actual titles, the actual text that people are willing to input here. So for example, the word social media, Instagram, beginners should be added into my actual title, into my description, and into my text. It's going to be much more faster to get this exposure inside the fiber. Now to managing your orders, what you want to do is to go directly into your business type. You can see the order section. And as you can see here, it's going to be appearing the priority orders, the buyer type, the gig, the due on, the total, the note, and the status. So you can see which one are active, which one is late, just in case you have an order to show into a specific date of time, the delivery, the completed, cancel, and start. Now directly here into the actual dashboard of your Fiverr account, you can see that I have an inbox response rate, the order response rate, delivery on time, order competition, what are the active orders, and how much money you have earned so far. Now in this case, what did you love to do is to go directly into my business. You can always go into the Elenix to see how much money you have earned so far. Since this is the very first time I have created an actual account, you're going to be having zero available funds, future payments, earning and expenses, but this is the amount you're going to be appearing here um, as you're just getting started on. Lastly, we have the Fiverr workspace that can really help you up to scale a little bit of your business. For example, to organize um, optimize time, the making of time management, on point proposal. It's going to be really, really helpful for people who really want to get started here into Fiverr. Now, a few tricks that I can give you to get your very first order. Uh, what you want to do is to share this one to a friend, to family, or even to yourself into another account. Now, this is going to be really important because once you get your very first order from the very first week that you created your private account, when you have a really successful order, it's gonna be added not only into your profile, but into a goals. This hidden algorithm at the Fiverr is gonna be understanding that since you have a very first account and in your first week you created a successful order, it's gonna be more chances that appears into the very first part of your actual section into Fiverr. So I'm gonna go back here into Fiverr once again, and you can see that when you have a successfully great first uh, order created and successfully added, it's going to get more chances to appear into the very first part of fiber. And this one is going to be really helpful to get started with your very first order, a real order in this case. So it's not like a trick, it's an, uh, more like a hint that can be helping you to scale a little bit up and much more faster here into fiber. And lastly, you might be receiving a lot, but truly a lot of messages about any specific gig. So let's say, for example, they have a specific gig and somebody has like a question. When they actually make an actual question, what you can do is to figure out this one is willing to pay for that. And then what you can do is to offer 
send an actual offer. For example, let's say that this one actually cost $15. Since this is your very first gig, try to lower this so they can be figuring out if they're willing to buy it, try it out, and then later on hire you in the future. So let's say I'm going to be sending you a personal offer of only $10 for today if you're willing to get started. They might be saying yes, you have a really great customer, you have a great review, and you might be scaling a little bit up your Fiverr account. So with all of this being said, you're now ready to get started here into the Fiverr account. As you can see, it wasn't that hard. It just might be taking a few minutes or even hours to set up your account correctly, to set up your seller account, to set up your very first gig, to optimize all of that. But all of this at the end of the day is going to be really worthy after you get questions, after you send offers, after you create your very first gig, you have active stuff. So don't be late. Try to be persuasive here. Try to get as much approval as you can, active orders, and try to earn and send more gigs as you are getting started try to be detailed and concise what you're actually offering here into Fiverr. So uh, we cannot wait to see what you actually do here into this great, great application. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you would want to see more great tools, amazing tools of this actual Fiverr account. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Once again, you have the link down below in the description so you can get started totally from today. Thank you once again for watching the video, guys. See you on the next video.